Hello and welcome back to Galactic Goddess Podcast. I'm your host, Rod Anilia, and today we have some incredibly special royal guests, the queen herself, Queen Helen. Welcome. Thank you, Princess Radha and Princess Maya. I'm happy to be back and seeing you again. It's a very inspiring day for me to move forward. This life is very challenging, and I know I had been meeting a lot of tribulations, but I can smile again together with you. Thank you, Creator. Thank you, Creator. It's a beautiful gift to be with you, Queen Helen. And Maya the Shaman, hello. Hello. I'm so excited to be in this circle again, especially having... Uh, Queen Helen Abdurajak, the royal family of the East of Maharlika, the Philippines. Uh, and so, yes, please share with us what uh, what you have been doing lately, whatever you'd like to share, uh, Queen Helen. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I had been silent uh, for so many months because you know, I refrained from uh, so much uh, exposed uh, programs in uh, my broadcast and all of these things because I focused on something very relevant and very crucial because of the imminent coming of wars mm -hmm. from the West going to the West Philippine Sea. So I had been monitoring, especially as the queen, because uh, this is not the time that I have really to embark my duty as the queen of the global earth. And of course, as the queen of the universal magnum, it is also my duty to protect the global earth. So that focal point that must be protected is the oil field, the gas and deuterium of Liguasan Mars, which is under the supervision of the queen with the Sultanate of Magindanao, that uh, all you know, it has been known to the world that the, the brother, Sultan Kayulawan Pandala Pasandalan passed away in February 14 this year. And of course, it has made me sad. But on the other hand, it made me strong because I know that he is now my spiritual combatant, my defender, especially in the protection of Liguasan Mars. As a spiritual uh, fighter, I let Sultan Kayulawan be on the front line in protecting the oil field. Then as we go along, you know, a lot of claimants still doing their job to claim, but I'm sure once they go to the bank, they are already being put to justice. So those are the achievements that I have, protecting the holy asset and the holy asset that belongs to God, belongs to God, for humanity. That is the primary reason why Queen was silent all this few months because I am focusing on how to help humanity by utilizing the holy asset that he has given to the new world, not to them, but to the world, the golden era that has been designed by the Lupasug Empire. The golden era means coming from the land of offer, the Maharlika, that is from the Philippine Islands, the Lupasug, and the entire global royal family work into one. That is the unity of all the royal families, including you, our dear princesses. Thank you, Queen, for updating us. That is a lot going on there. Maya, do you have any other questions? Well, we're coming up with <laughs> your book uh, that we'd like to, you know, include Queen Helen for her beautiful poems that she has made in the past. And we're so excited that uh, she can be a part of this book. Uh, and you can talk about that, Rada. Absolutely. Well, I'm so I'm so uh, honored that Queen Helen will be part of Poems with the Heart, um, you know, part, part of our Maharlikan and Filipino aspect is that we our hearts you know we really live from our hearts that's one of our virtues is that we really feel in our hearts we live from our hearts and so it's really important for us to express from our hearts too and i think poetry is a beautiful way of 
um, bridging that communication. And so we have uh, authors from all over the world. And with Queen Helen joining us, I'm so excited because I know that it's going to be deep and profound. And you might even get to know different parts of Queen Helen, you know, that she she's not shared yet. So you're going to be able to to know more about her beautiful heart and what you have to share. And, and Queen, I know you're a prolific poet. You've you have a whole book of poetry already that's unpublished. So this is very exciting. Do you want to share about your about your poetry? Yes, I know that even at young age, I would always stare to the moon and do some of my composed uh, poems, especially trying to have some songs that others benefit. But I just have to be incognito because, you know, being poor, it's not my, my way of doing it to be exposed. But since I am already as a queen, I'd like to recall that poems in a, is an expression of what you are, what you are inside. And that is the way how to reveal yourself as the special creation of God in relation to our personal relationship with the creator. To become poetic means you are strongly connected to the divinity. And I like to join that because I know I have that spiritual expression through the poems that I had been doing. But I'm sure I cannot find the, the, the notebook that I have, but I'm sure it's all in my brain. And that is to rewrite it, to re-express it in the more deeper way will help us all together. And the world will know that the queen has that values, that inner strength, that inner compassion. Because, you know, to become a queen, it has to be dealt with sincere heart. Whatever it is, the refinery of expression. It's not like what they have. They all the bad mouth coming from them. So it is easily known that that person is not good because of the expression of the words coming out from the mouth. So poems can help rebuild other people's lives because that will educate them somehow. That will not only educate, but that will become a rallying point that the world will see that the queen is indeed sincere, with a pure heart, with a pure soul, I am not bragging myself, but God has given me that inner character, those attitudes that has been really polished from where I came from, the learning, the teachings that I imbibed from the day that I was born, from the parents that has been designed to be with me and to the institution that I was with. So it has given me that momentum to stand as the new queen that will become an exemplary to the rest of the world. That is the reason why there is a queen, a queen that would be emulated by the rest of the human beings, not the queen that will give them the, the teachings to become bad, but to become good. That's what I am going to do when I join you. And thank you for inviting me for that. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. There's so many levels and layers to you. And, you know, you're very strong, but I know your heart is so beautiful. And, you know, it's that combination. Actually, that's so powerful. And what was it? The guru, a great guru said, one, one strong woman who is in her heart and in her strength is like, a hundred thousand army of men mm -hmm. so we know that that's what you are <laughs> if there was a helen of troy there is a helen from takurung takurung is a part of the sultan kudarat near the liguasan mars where i was and that is now being seen in the global world just recently i know that they are trying to groom that the pageant will be there but I was asking the people, did you allow that? Because you know that sometimes these are part and parcel of how the world will know who is queen. Mm -hmm. 
from Takorong. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is connectivity. This is the past that comes to life again. You know, but I am not the one that, that the Helen of Troy did, but I am the one of Helen of Takorong to revive the new generation, the new people of the world wherein that is goodness to reign in their hearts, that God, Allah will reign, the creator will reign because we are created by his image and his likeness. So the projection of the divinity must come out from there. That's beautiful. Beautiful. And, and you know, Filipinos are known for their, for their great artistic abilities, you know, such fine actors, such great singers and, and dancers as well. So this is, this is part of bringing back, you know, the deeper culture, the deeper um, magic that I think Filipinos have within us too, is that we are able to share uh, like, you know, the, the, the way we feel is deep, very, very deep. And I know before they used to um, sing, what, what was that mom? Like sing and, and, and court a woman and they would, you know, use these songs and write poems you told me before. So this is part of like a renaissance, right? A, cre a creative renaissance that we're bringing. Harana, we call it Harana. Harana, okay. <laughs> we have to woe by singing. We have to court by singing. And it's still the same with God, with Allah. They love to sing. Their language is singing. Mm -hmm. That's how the divinity does. So that's how we are. If we can be the divine being, projecting, immersed with the humanity. So there is that called the magnetic power because we are all the same creation of God, of Allah. So we can really be the person that will be given that opportunity to magnetize, to return to God, to return to the truefold of the creation of God, which is goodness himself. To be good is very hard for the bad people, but those innate goodness in us will just flourish, will just be there to welcome the rest of the world. Mm. That is how we are now. Yeah. It's it's the really expression. important. Yeah, it, the it's expression. it's time. It's time. It's important to bring, you know, that feeling of being one with our humanity, and and through arts, uh, it's like a bridge. Uh, you know, it's it's the missing gap uh, that connects the third dimension to a higher dimension. You know, and so art is really, really important. And speaking from your heart, that's even more important because yes. it, it's the heart that allows us to really open up. Huh? The spontaneity. Yes. I like that. Beautiful. We'll do it. We'll do it I, to I, capture the hearts of men mm -hmm. through the books. Because, you know, there are still a lot of people who would like to read in books than just watching from the, the Googles, from, from all these applications. So I'll support you for that, Princess Radha and Princess Maya. I'll be with you. I'll mm. be with you. That is my dream also, that one day I could write my book and you will be there. Just assist me because, you know, sometimes with all these multifaceted responsibilities, so the focusing is different from what has been. So, you know, in the past, I just have simply to stare on the moon and sing for it. And I have to compose my own song. And I have just to go with the tunes. You know, sometimes it's, it's very good. And I love singing with the old folks in my little community, wherein they would know that, oh, that is the composition of Helen. That's the way I love with my, my, my community. Because I am really that striking uh, a child wherein I could just go anywhere, dance with tiptoes of all of this. No, I'm just telling you of, of who really I was in my young age. That's why they would remember me in Takorong, mm -hmm. walking 
you know, in this, um, you know, in the rice field, you know, in, in all these things, you see uh, watching the birds flying when they are already, the rice already ripened. So many Maya, the name we call them, the Maya. <laughs> so they will just have to go and eat the rice. So I'll be there, you know, the, the roaming around the, the rice field singing. So that's how I was. And I miss terribly that kind of life. I miss that. Yeah, that that's a part of our culture, you know, to to revive that, and that's why it's it's beautiful to bring that back out again, and it softens also, you know, the harshness of what's happening in our world right now, and so allowing that artistic ability from the inner part of us kind of really just makes us feel better about ourselves and about others too so that really truly gives us more expansive feeling isn't it yes yes because there's always an actor and actresses and god is always the director That's correct. and we have to play our roles and us directors also we have to do it but this time it's nice to be actresses it's nice to be there on the stage and everyone will watch us. The dignity, the dignified way of putting it. You know, sometimes that's why uh, somebody contacted me on how to do the filming mm. of my historical background. And I said, oh, there is one already. <laughs> I have already contracted myself to that. And that's you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rada, producer, director. So yeah. you, can, so you yeah. won an award for best director in Hollywood. Yes, that's true. You know, sometimes we need all this. Mm -hmm. If I was blocked by the major media publishing companies in print ads, ads rather, and all this, you know, media, still I believe that one day they cannot block me mm. wherein I know there is there is no room for blockaging anymore. Mm. Mm. I believe so because God himself is manifesting now in all forms and he is just roaming into this global earth mm. and it's up to the human beings to recognize him. Yes, indeed. He is around. He is around. And he brought with him his armies, his goddesses, and all of this. But woe to those that cannot see him. Mm. But lucky for us, because we have the eye to see the difference. We have the gift to see them, because we are the being of half, 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 we're in we could easily discern who they are mm -hmm. and thanks to heavens for giving that gift to us uh -huh. yes being multi-dimensional beings that we are of course that that allows us to see further beyond this dimension you know we we can see in other dimensions you know that's why there are seers and we are able to hear you know, we're able to use our senses to connect with the divine. And so that's yes. beautiful. Like what you said earlier, before we even come into this, uh, <laughs> this gathering here, you told me a story about that you're already feeling and hearing the divine coming to you. And that is really a beautiful feeling and a beautiful knowing to really connect uh, with the divine. This is yes. a very important part uh, of our lives. Uh. Correct. That's very true. Because once you heard them, you would always crave for the hearing, the melody that you cannot hear from the ordinary songs. But that is something that you want to, to hear and hear more. Because when I was little, I know that I had been hearing all of those. You know, to be in the enchanted kingdom, to be with Liguasan, swimming in the deepest side of it. I thought I was just gathering snails. I never thought I was already in communion with them. So That's how I was well connected with the enchanted of Liguasan Mars. That I know 
that people cannot believe. That's why Takurung is a very good avenue now for the global people to see on how they could enter into the enchanted kingdom of Lake Wasson Mars. Wow. I'm opening the door. I'm opening one day. You shall be there one day. One yes. day soon. One <laughs> day soon. Remember, I promised you that one day you can come even to here in Malacca, Malaysia. Hmm. Thank Looking you. forward. <laughs> yes, yes. Soon. After this year, I'm sure we have a very good, prosperous 2025. 2024 we are still struggling uh, for the you know a lot of things putting structures putting all this massive infrastructures developmental progress and you know the program that I had been laying down the peace defense economic development healthcare and learning program and renewable energy and all this asset that we have the banks all of this are putting into one that's why you know that they will go to the east. All of the western part will go to the east. Why? The money is not there anymore. I'm sure you will be going home. <laughs> One, day. <laughs> One day. One day. One day. Yes. One day soon. Yes. You see, this is a spontaneous time that we have to talk it out. You know, the inspiration, the divine intervention. So everything is in their hands already. I'm sure of that, that they will be the one to do it for us now. All my sufferings, all the things that I have done, I just lap it off. Sometimes I have no more time to cry it out. Instead, I put a smile and say, oh, grandpa, you were the one who made this. Why should I be whimpering into this? Just give me a smile. Sometimes I go out to my veranda and say to the, the heavens, thank you, I'm still alive. And I'm still going to work for whatever you have mandated to me. That is to bring back souls to your feet again. Mm -hmm. Bring back my family back to you again. That is queen. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. This is so sweet. I love to hear that other part of you that uh, really hones in the spirit that really truly connects your mission and your vision in, into this reality. Because 2024 is a very special time. And this is the beginning of what I feel. And I see that it's the beginning of the infinite the possibilities. I mean, you already have talked about the golden age and as as we go along with this whole beautiful vision you know we have to hold that in our hearts and in our minds and that's where we'd like to go we'd like to be in that space and time where anything is possible you know yes yeah because that is the the way that god has put ages so we are now in the new age, the golden age. All of this is packaged by them. I am just instrument. You are just instruments too, to put all these things together. We cannot own this because if there is no him who mandated us, we are nothing. This mission is nothing at all. It is him who is doing this for me, who is using my brain, who is using all these programs that I have so that he will be again known that he is himself the creator. And it is his time to recover us from the claws of Satan. <laughs> and this is devotion. <laughs> this is devotion is yes. one pointed heart, mind, and spirit that you bring into the table it's an offering of yourself to the divinity and that is the most important thing in this world because we're born to have our purpose and our mission set in place and if we don't follow that divine calling then it feels like 
what is life all about for us? This is the most important part of our life, you know, yes. to go through the process of, of really manifesting the divine in the physical form and to create the, the beautiful world that we desire, where, where peace, you know, lives and where everyone is taken care of, where everybody is able to have all the basic necessities of life where nobody is starving and that we have to live in peace and harmony where there's no war, you know? And so this time, this is like, you know, the edge of darkness. I feel like I can see it like almost the tail of darkness. Uh, and then that ends. And, and then we go into the next phase, which is a shifting possibility, like what, what we call now the quantum leap uh, into another yes. realm. Yes, it has been prepared. That's why you can see my 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 initials, Q, no, the Queens, the QFS. All of this are all designed by him. We are just the the carrier of this. We are just the representation of what he has designed. That's what I felt because if I have to own this, I become him, and that is not right. Lucy got tempted so he was given that part but now at least this is ours this is what we are we are the carrier of the divinity and we hold that power and authority for him to be known that's why what we are going to do with the points with the books that we have is always with the center pole this is the divine calling for us to bring out the God, the God in us, the goodness in us, the being that has been with us all along. That is the reason we live because of him in our hearts, in our mind, in our consciousness, in our conscience. So those are the basic principle of being human wherein we could unify all of this and that will make the totality of the person who becomes whole and that wholeness will give you the refinery of character of attitudes that even in our language will always be with refined words and that is how i challenge all of those people that claimed to be queens kings and royalties surpassing of who i am of what i am of what I can do for humanity. You know, another thing about uh, being a poet is that you're able to really express that that part of you that really connects the dots, uh, you know, in different parts of your life, uh, you know, from the experience you have when you were a child uh, to growing up uh, and to becoming the person that you are today. And that is, it's an, it's such a, a, a beautiful expression of being able to know who you are and being able to stand by your true essence, what was given to you by the divine and, and to really claim that and have no, no shame because some people have a lot of shame or guilt about who they are, or some people are arrogant or egoistic. So those gray areas of our lives need balance and when that balance come into us then we know who we are we know our mission our vision and we want to be able to express that fully and so when you fully express that you have no doubt about yourself you know Correct. you claim yes. it and that's something that i feel as somebody has said something to be human is to be divine that that's a higher frequency of what humanity is is to be you know to move towards that divinity and yes. you know that's the beauty of being conscious aware and being able to work on oneself huh? like the inner work huh, is very important huh? you know meditation yes. prayers um some sacrifices are needed but not to sacrifice others because there's two different things, you know. We sacrifice mm -hmm. ourselves to be of service to the divine. 
And we do everything within that power to fully acknowledge that it's time for change. It's time for the new era to come along. And it's time to do the work that was assigned for you to do. So each one of us has a job to do, you know, and the work of a queen is one of the most difficult work that I could not even fathom to, 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 to do myself because it's tremendous. And so I'm, I'm grateful that we're able to have the different jobs that's assigned to us. You know, I, I'm doing yes. my work. Arata's doing her work. You're doing your work. And we're all doing our work. And with all of us doing our own calling in life, uh, then we become stronger as a whole. You know, we unite our intentions. Uh, yes. And, and that's what we, you call family. Mm -hmm. Family that works together will give an impact to the rest of the world. And you were saying that at least we live by the heart of the divinity. The expression, it will be manifested that people will see that. So we don't live in presumption nor assumption. We live by reality, by facts. Mm -hmm. That's how we are. Truthfulness of life. So the honesty, that's why we know that this is the, the time that we have really to impart to the world that there is still hope for change. The radical change must come from within us mm -hmm. to become example to the rest of the people that will see us. This one, I know this will strike the women and men of the world that are living in presumption and assumption that they thought they are the ones. They are the ones not signifying that they are the owners. No, the owners of this world is God, the creator, Allah, the creator. Whatever the names they are given to him, it boils down into one. God is the creator. This time I know that to have this opportunity to speak out for the world, it's not anymore that I am bothered because I know God is purifying every statement that I have, every words that I utter. I know that as a chosen queen, he would do everything, not anymore to blemish my reputation my credibility, my integrity, all of this. They have packaged me as one. So are you to be working all together to make this world a heavenly abode on earth. That's what the divinity would like us to do, to experience in this world, to have that communion with him, to be with him and this will ease the pain of all those suffering people because we will be opening the treasure chest that belongs to him for the entire humanity. Of course, it is also their job to cleanse the world. It's not mine anymore. It's them still. And there are agencies, there are groups, there are institutions assigned to it not anymore the queen to suffer more, but at least to give the chance for the queen to live up to the expectation of the divinity, to be the queen mother, the mother that who would love the children, to feed them, to bring them the right education, to rear them into the wholesome person that God wanted them to be. That is what we are now. So join you and join me. Work this mission of the divinity on the global aspect, especially we are Lemurians. And Lemurian expects us to do the same in their protection because nobody believes that they also exist. We must coexist, seen in the unseen, the lesser creation and the higher creation. But of today, we are imbibing to the world as long as that is the creation of God. Respect, love, be the bearer of love and generosity throughout the global earth. 
and the queen of the universal magnum will be happy about. Because as the physical queen, my backup, the spiritual backup is still the queen mama, the queen mother, the blessed mother, Siti Mariam, whatever his name, Kuan Yin, he is still there. I don't assume, presume as I am, but I would always say that they are there to assist me, to protect me, to guard me, and to be with me in this saga, in this crusade, to bring back souls to the feet of the creator. Thank you very much, Princess Radha, Princess Maya. I have again expressed the queen of me that would like to share to the world that let it be, we will do something for the rest of humanity in faith, hope, love, and charity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Queen. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your devotion. Thank you, Maya the Shaman. And thank you all for joining us. Thank you. And, you know, I just want to remind everyone tuning in right now that if you, you know, you think of the Queen, please send your love and your prayers. She's putting herself really out on the line for so many, for all of you. And it's important that we keep our prayers up, be warriors of light, you know, and that we keep our prayers going because they really make a big difference. You would not believe how powerful you are. So let's continue to send the queen beautiful prayers. And until next time, much love, blessings. Bye for now. Thank you.